Estate planning is a process whereby you preserve, protect, and transfer your assets. It involves many times a living trust, but it's much more than that. There's wills, powers of attorney, medical health care directives. There are also other vehicles for preserving your assets and not just disposing of them. If you have considerable wealth, there are several techniques available to reduce or even avoid estate taxes. One of the things you can do is to set up a family limited liability company or family limited partnership and get a minority discount. There are other ways too. There are private annuities, there are grantor retained annuity trust, and there are techniques that we can be set up in your living trust in and of itself that will reduce substantially your estate taxes. If you're a high net worth individual, I can help you because I understand what your needs and concerns are. I know that you're worried about estate taxes. You're worried about passing your assets on to the next generation in an efficient and cost-saving manner. I understand the strategies that are involved. In fact, I've come up with some of the strategies myself that are involved in making sure that the assets pass to the next generation without incurring estate taxes. I can help you because I'm associated myself with professional advisors that also know and understand these problems. Estate planning in California doesn't just involve the preparation of a will, trust, and powers of attorney for you. If you're a client with a high net worth, we at Wealth Strategies Council also have the ability to implement a plan to take into consideration the effect that estate taxes and transfer taxes can have on your death. Estate planning is very important when you have a blended family because you have children normally from a prior marriage. Those children may not agree necessarily with the new spouse and there can be a lot of conflicts. Also, the new spouse may remarry even and the rights of the children from the prior marriage have to be protected and preserved. you should choose me as your estate planning attorney because of my background and my experience, not only as a lawyer, but in life. I've raised a family with my wife successfully myself. I know what your concerns are, and I understand how to implement a plan that will meet your needs. I teach other lawyers how to do this. In fact, many lawyers hire me to do their estate planning. You should choose Jeff Matson of Wealth Strategies Council for your estate planning attorney because of his vast experience. He's been in practice for over 35 years and has a team at Wealth Strategies Council with vast experience themselves. He's also a person, a lawyer, who genuinely cares about your problem and solving it and implementing the estate plan that's right for you. A living trust is a written agreement between you as the client as the maker of the trust and you as the client as the trustee of the trust or manager of the trust. And it's kind of like a will substitute. And I like to think of it as your own little family company that you manage and upon your death that family company continues on and avoids the probate process because you appoint a successor to take your place to manage the trust and distribute the assets according to your instructions. You do need a will if you have a living trust. It's referred to as a pour-over will. In the event that there's assets inadvertently left out of your trust, a pour-over will allows them to pour back into the terms of the trust. A will is also necessary to appoint an executor to act for you in the event that there is a proceeding that does need to be brought before the court. And most importantly, it is necessary if you have children. It allows you to nominate, name a specific individual to act as guardian of your minor child in the event that something happens to you. You should have a living trust because you want to be able to avoid probate and pass your assets to your heirs in the most effective manner possible. Moreover, having a living trust helps you to get organized now. You're the one that knows most about what your assets are and where they're located. 
In the retitling process, that means that you're able to organize and marshal together your assets so your heirs know what you have and what you own. In order to properly fund your living trust, you need to retitle your assets into the name of the trust. That involves deeds with respect to real property. It involves instructing your bank to change the names on the account to your trust. It involves the other financial institutions where you might have your stocks or bonds, having them retitle the account into the name of the trust. And it involves making sure that your investments are all changed into the name of the trust. In order to properly fund your living trust, you have to make sure that your assets that are owned by you in your individual name are changed so that title then reads into your name as trustee of your trust. That often involves the recording of deeds, the transferring of title to bank accounts, investment accounts, uh, certain brokerage accounts, sometimes in events where there's specific situations, even life insurance. A dynasty trust is a trust that you set up now for purposes of transferring your legacy onto the next generations. And what it does is it gives you the ability to structure your estate plan on a generation by generation basis without the future generations having to pay any estate taxes. It also protects against divorce and creditors among your children and grandchildren. 